on uh, the other one, same exact same kind of uh, structure. Show IP in brief. Looks like serial 0 slash 0 needs to be modified. Config T, interface serial 0, encapsulation frame dash relay. See the line uh, protocol cam comes up. Exit out of there. Interface serial 0 slash 0 0.405, point to point, jumps us into uh, sub interface configuration mode for 0.405. IP address 10.6.6.2, 255.255.255.0, 255 .255 frame dash relay interface dash del C405. And again, you'll see that the, uh, the del C405 state changes to active. You can jump out of there. So, last thing you're going to want to do is verify your, your pings. Uh, ping 10.6.6.1 works, ping 10.5.5.2 works. Um, it doesn't show it here. I guess it, it does do a show IP route to show that you are in fact able to see the remote uh, LAN uh, subnets for the other routers, but I would probably take that a step further and verify that you can ping those as well. So, you know, if they're using the dot one for the gateway, make sure you can ping 172.16.35.1 and likewise for that other LAN block. That, that's pretty much the extent of the configuration for the preferred point-to-point uh, -point with sub-interfaces configuration of frame relay. So verifying and troubleshooting frame relay, we already saw a lot of these commands as we, uh, we went through these configuration examples. Show frame-relay LMI, show frame-relay PVC, respectively are going to give you the, um, you know, the LMI status, whether it's active or not, PVC status, how that's set up. Show frame dash relay map is going to show you any uh, IPs mapped to uh, different PVCs, and then if you're having some uh, some problems with LMI coming up, you can do a debug frame dash relay LMI. Again, anytime you do a, a debug, make sure when you're done looking at that specifically that you do an undebug all, since that does take up a lot of router resources. And that is it for frame relay. Any questions on that portion?